That music was excellent to get this going here. This is a, once again a wonderful time because we're celebrating two baptisms, which is extremely unique because it's a family affair. Amen. It's uh, not only is Marjorie Perdamo Hazen, who is a Pickering family member, at being baptized, but also Bill Pickering, her grandfather, is being baptized. Also, and they were born on the same day. Wow. So you know the angels are singing. <laughs> before we have Marjorie come up, Marjorie's going to be baptized first. Before she comes up, just want to say something in addition to what Pete mentioned to you, and really along the same lines that, uh, that the sermon was on, is that the kingdom of God is here and not yet. But because the kingdom of God is in each one of you who have the Holy Spirit within you, resident in your heart, in order to truly fulfill the kingdom of God, you need to obey the king. The king has said, be baptized. So if you are here today and have not yet, and you, and you know the Lord Jesus as your Savior, and you're trying to live for Jesus as your Savior... You need to be baptized. Not because I say so, not because Bud says so, not because you even think it's a good idea. It's because he commands you to be. Not because he's putting you under some sort of punishment. Because he wants to fulfill his life in you. And help you to live for him. Baptism is a representation, a symbol, as Pete was saying, of dying to the old self and as Christ died for us and then rising up to be able to live a life for him. So think about that and, and if you want to be baptized, come and see me or see Bud or see John or see Pete or see Mark or, or, or anyone else and just get the information to us and we'll move forward. So Marjorie, would you come forward, please? And while you're doing that, I think I'll grab some towels also. And Marjorie, I'm, uh, I'm not going to quiz you a lot. Uh, and just so you know, Marjorie was baptized when she was seven years old by me. <laughs> and uh, but. <clears throat> And I, I, I truly support her in being baptized again as an adult, making a choice with a clear heart and a clear mind as an adult of wanting to go ahead and serve the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm going to have you step into the tank first of all. Probably warm as <laughs> toast. <laughs> and I just, I just want to ask you a, one, a couple of questions, short questions. First of all, and that is just to say, let everybody know, when was it that you accepted Christ as your Savior? Um, when I was eight, I accepted Christ, and then my teen years, 16 and through, um, recently I've had a falling out and I've come back. Yeah. And, and since uh, making that choice that God prompted you to make, to come back, uh, how has it felt in your heart to, uh, with having the Lord closer to you? So it's been, I mean, it just felt like a huge weight. Amen. All right, I won't belabor this then. Oh, what I am going to ask, though, is some prayer to be uh, uh, offered up. And, and I think Pete's going to go ahead and pray and maybe read some scripture or at least pray. Sure. Lord, thanks so much for, uh, for being so unchanging being so faithful that you bear with us during our times of walking alone sometimes. We choose to do that, but you're there. We're not really alone, you're there. Mm -hmm. So as Marjorie goes forward in her recommitment of, uh, of faith and obedience and proclamation, uh, telling the world that, that she wants to look at you, we ask that you continue to bless her Lord, and be with her all. And Dennis, Dennis is going to pray also. Lord, we thank you for being with Marjorie, being in her heart, having the 
having your spirit uh, continue to prod her in the right direction. We just ask that uh, you stay with her, uh, keep her steadfast. She, she uh, needs to be an example to those that are around her, just like her family has been uh, to her, to her life. And we're so thankful for Marjorie and what she means to this church, and we just ask you to just put your blessings on her. In Jesus' name, amen. And I'm going to just say a short prayer or two before we get done here. And uh, let's step into it. And uh, I'm going to say, Lord, uh, what a blessing it is just to be a part of this uh, family's life. And Father, I just look to Marjorie and her husband and the children that they have and, and just see the love that's there. And Lord, I just pray that, uh, dear God, you will enrich them. And uh, Lord, they will touch lives and end this community. And then, Father, through their hearts and what others see in them, many will come into the kingdom of God. And so we thank you, Lord, for this time. And uh, we just look forward, Father, to many more blessings to come. Amen. And I'll baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.